Yo, what's going on guys, man? Welcome back. Today, I actually woke up to some crazy news. Well, I kind of found out at like 1 a.m., but I'm not really going to record a video at 1 a.m. But yo, man, I'm going to need you to drop an early like on a video for the UMP coming back to Modern Warfare, man. Flip! That's right, man. The UMP is back in Modern Warfare in Season 2. And honestly, when I found this out, I was just beyond excited. This is a weapon that a lot of people, especially myself, because I remember being flown out to LA to play Modern Warfare early. And the first thing I looked for in the classes, in the weapons, was the UMP. And when I didn't see it, I was kind of upset but the fact that he's back for season two is amazing it's called the striker 45 i believe these were all leaked on the call of duty website so they were leaked i'm pretty sure they probably did it on purpose There's another weapon called the growl 556 and since it takes 556 is probably an assault rifle more than likely so yeah man i'm too excited for this but yo before we get into this video man you already know drop an early like in the video i'm trying to get into recommended out here so if you guys could do that that would be great i'm also doing post notification shout outs as well so if you do want to shout out at the end of one of my videos then all you need to do is of course drop the like hit the bell to turn up post notifications and drop a comment it can be literally anything man but i need to know though on a scale of one to ten how hyped are you for the ump to be back in modern warfare bro damn <laughs> So not only have those two weapons been leaked, but a bunch of like battle pass stuff has been leaked as well. Even Rust. Rust has been confirmed. Basically, for those people that went to one of the Modern Warfare reveal events, which I actually got to go to, you got like a like a key card thing that you could use on Snapchat. And whenever like new stuff would come out, you can scan that card and it would show it. And Rust is now showing up. Which I think is pretty sick to be fair. It's pretty cool that they did something like that. For like that little key card thing. So those people teammate teammate bro so those people that have access to that are able to see it and then give that information out to people rather than even just call of duty having to do it in general man hold up i haven't played shootouts in a minute bro i really haven't low-key forgot the vibes low-key forgot how to play it i want to try and streak up just a little bit flip man bro bro what are they doing i feel like they might spawn on me bro wait Get stop it, power joints. Bro, there's two people in the game. Why have they all left? Literally all left the game. That's insane, man. All of them after I'm on a vibe as well. Advanced. There we go. There we go. We got the vibe. We have got the vibe. I repeat. The vibe has been acquired. There's one. Oh my god. There's one. There's two. Yo, these guys are all over the place. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. Get the stopping power joints. There's one. There's two. There's three. <laughs> Bro. For flip sake, man. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of stuff was shown on the website when we found the UMP, the growl, or however you pronounce it. I don't know. Hello. 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 Hello, guys. Hello. Yeah, man, a bunch of like battle pass items and stuff like that. I believe it's going to be 100 tiers again as well. So I'm kind of yeah, bro. bro, shut up, man. A lot of it is a bunch of like remake stuff. Like, of course, we got the ghost character coming back, which is from a previous one. So. I I don't really, I don't really know how to feel about it. I mean, I'm hyped, of course. I don't really care too much. Like, when you bring things back that, I don't know, have been in the game already or have been in, like, a previous game, it's cool to me just because I know they can't really mess up, surely. But it's like, a lot of people are just saying, I don't know. It's going to be a bunch of remade stuff. And after a week, it's just, okay, we've already used this stuff. So can we get something new? That's not how I see it, really. I'm just really excited to use the UMP in Modern Warfare because that's something I've been looking for for a while, man. In terms of characters like Ghost and just some other Battle Pass items, I don't really care about those. I think I can about the most is the weapon and a lot of people were saying as well which does actually make sense so since we're getting uh rust we're getting rust we're getting the ump and this is season two a lot of people are linking it to the fact that all this stuff is coming from modern warfare 2 as well so when we get season three that stuff is probably going to be from modern warfare 3 and maybe that's like the little idea they're going for with that which does seem like a pretty cool idea so when modern warfare 3 comes back maybe well you know season three which could resemble modern warfare 3 then maybe we'll get like the acr because i feel like that was more prominent a lot of people probably disagree with me but i feel like the acr in modern 
Modern Warfare 3 was a lot more prominent than the one in MW2, although I did play MW3 a lot more. So it probably does make sense for me to say that, but that ACI in MW3, bro, was insane. So if they brought that back in Season 3, man. I always forget that they brought back the UMP in Infinite Warfare as well as like one of those classic weapon things that they did. And that joint was, I think that joint was fire too. I don't really remember it, but I do remember using it and like going in with it. So maybe that thing's gonna be amazing, just like it was in that, because that was an Infinity Ward game as well. And the description of the weapon is apparently it's like a long range weapon. I don't remember the UMP being too long range, but in this game it might act like, I don't know, like an MP7 or something like that. And if it is, you gotta think, because they added the RAM into the game and the RAM turned out to be like one of the best weapons, if not the best weapon in the game. So like, they're not opposed to make making like a DLC weapon just like really really good I feel like a lot of COD games are just because of the fact that you do have to earn them so I, they don't really want the complaints of people being like okay yo this you pay to win I'm not liking that people have this weapon already and it's the best weapon in the game so it doesn't seem like these guys are too bothered about that little bit of backlash that they could get from making a weapon just that good and it being a DLC weapon at the same time and usually when you bring back two weapons it's like okay one's a Whoa, 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 whoa. Usually when they bring back two weapons, one of them's amazing and one of them is just like decent. So I'm hoping the UMP is the amazing one. And then the other one, I don't... I don't really know what the other one's supposed to be, whether it's a remake of a weapon or not. People have been saying a bunch of different things that I don't really see, but... Yeah, we're low-key popping off a little... Yeah, man, I'm just excited to use the UMP, to be honest, man. I can't wait to run around with the UMP with a monolithic suppressor on it, man. Like, that joint really about to be insane, though. Like, you guys don't even understand. Wait. Oh, flip. Bro, bro, bro! Low keep you sick if they added more than just two weapons, though. But I do, I do kind of understand it. I don't want to add. Oh, flip. I didn't know that was out of the combat area. Wait, wait, wait. Can I land? Oh, my God! I do kind of understand it. Maybe it'll add, like, more weapons, like, throughout the season rather than just initially. Because I feel like these two weapons will be, like, off rip. Do you know what I mean? Like, these two, you'll be able to get them, like, straight away. There'll probably be, like, variants of them in the battle pass as well. So, like, not only you can get a normal version, but you can get blueprints of it as well. But when it comes to, like, new different weapons, completely different ones, then I don't know. I don't know whether it'll do that. They don't really like to do that. All I'm saying is my vibe's completely gone since I chose that nuke, man. I can't believe it. I was just chilling, talking to you. I wasn't even planning on going for a nuke, but now I've died, like, one off a nuke or whatever it was. Now I'm just irritated, do you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of just ruined my vibe. And I don't even know how to feel anymore, to be honest. But at least, when is it? The 11th of Feb? So it's, like, literally not long away at all. It comes out this Tuesday, the new season, season two, with the UMP, whatever that other weapon is. We got Ghost coming back. We got Rust coming back as well. I wonder what type of map that's going to be, to be fair. Hopefully it's, like, a shipment in terms of, like, they do, like, sometimes, like, 24 7 playlist uh oh he got he okay never mind i'm thinking they're gonna do it like shipment where they do like 24 7 playlist every so often just treat it like a regular map do you know what i mean but one of those maps that everyone wants to play all the time so they do those playlists bro i'm in a lobby with a bunch of Oh yeah, if you think I'm staying in this, you got me all the way messed up. <laughs> he's got the Ram Damascus and then he's got the 725 Platinum in his back pocket. You got me messed up, man. <laughs> I think the better question is, are they going to ruin Rust? I feel like with every single map that you bring back, you always like add an extra room to it. You do something weird to it that no one... Realistically, no one wants. I think they did it with Crash, so they might do it with Rust. I don't know. They'll add like another level to it or some secret room that we didn't know about beforehand. Bro, bro, relax with your sniper, man. Yeah, if they change it, I can't lie. I'll be, I'll be a little bit upset. I don't want them to do that at all, man. Just leave Rust. Do not disrespect Rust and change it. Can't do that, man. I won't allow that at all. I won't allow it. You cannot change Rust. Please don't. Bro, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm getting irritated. Yo, yeah, don't ruin Rust, man. Don't add no extra room to it. We don't. We just need it the way it was at MW2. That's all we need. Don't change it. Hopefully in the season after that, or maybe in this season as well, maybe further down the line, they'll add Terminal. I feel like you'd be missing an opportunity because they brought back Terminal in every Modern Warfare, right? Every Modern Warfare, Infinite Warfare as well. So they kind of have to bring it back into this game. Like, there's no doubt about it. You know, they can change that and do all they want in terms of, like, the way it looks. In Infinite Warfare, it looked completely different. It was uh, it was nighttime, bro. So and we had jetpacks. So I don't really mind what they do to it in terms of how it looks. Just don't add rooms that don't need adding and stuff like that. That's what I don't want. Do you know what I mean? Okay, he just spawned right in front of my eyes. Yeah, man. I'm just hoping he don't do any weird stuff to it. There's one.
My footsteps are louder than everyone else's, I swear to you. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure, man. For sure.